You might not have thought about it, but air pollution is worse than smoking for example. Professors, who led this new research, say the findings suggest the world is facing an air pollution pandemic. We will cover their findings in this video, so stay tuned and watch till end, because there are pretty interesting statistics. Also push the like button and share your thoughts, and if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and push the notification bell, so you don't miss out on anything useful. So why does the world face an air pollution pandemic, you may ask? Well, according to new study, people's lives are shortened by an average of almost three years from different sources of air pollution. This is a worldwide problem, and it is on a far greater scale than smoking, wars, violence, malaria or HIV. Researchers estimated that globally, air pollution caused an extra 8.8 million premature deaths a year in 2015. This basically means an average shortening of life expectancy of almost three years for all persons worldwide. According to European Society of Cardiology the researchers looked at the effect of air pollution on six categories of disease, lower respiratory tract infection, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, lung cancer, heart disease, cerebrovascular disease leading to stroke, and other, non-communicable diseases, which include conditions such as high blood pressure and diabetes. They found that cardiovascular diseases, heart disease and cerebrovascular disease combined, are responsible for the greatest proportion of shortened lives from air pollution which is 43% of the loss in life expectancy worldwide, European Society of Cardiology reports. As with most diseases, globally about 75% of deaths attributed to air pollution occur in people aged over 60 years. Now, some very interesting numbers. Based on this research, experts have calculated that air pollution is reducing life expectancy by an average of 2.9 years for people across the globe. And now things really become interesting. By comparison, tobacco smoking shortens life expectancy by an average of 2.2 years, HIV by 0.7 years, diseases like malaria by 0.6 years, and all forms of violence, including wars, by 0.3 years, the authors wrote in their paper, published in the journal Cardiovascular Research. The professors distinguished between avoidable, human-made air pollution and pollution from natural sources such as desert dust and wildfire emissions, which cannot be avoided. They showed that about two-thirds of premature deaths are attributable to human-made air pollution, mainly from fossil fuel use. The number goes up to 80% in high-income countries. Researchers estimated that according to new findings 5.5 million deaths worldwide a year are potentially avoidable. According to calculations, they estimate that if air pollution was reduced by removing fossil fuel emissions, the average life expectancy worldwide would increase by just over a year, and by nearly two years if all human-made emissions were removed. Of course, they also note that there are big differences between regions due to the diversity in emissions. In East Asia, for example, which has the highest loss of life expectancy due to avoidable air pollution, three of the average of four years of lost life expectancy could be prevented by the removal of human-made emissions. In comparison, in Africa, where population growth is rapid and pollution from dust predominates, only 0.7 of the average 3.1 years lost could be prevented. In Europe, there is an average of 2.2 years of lost life expectancy, 1.7 of which could be prevented, and in North America there is an average of 1.4 years of lost life expectancy, of which 1.1 could be prevented, mostly by phasing out fossil fuels, researchers showed. Last, but not least, they pointed out, that limitations of the study include the fact there is uncertainty surrounding the estimates and more research is needed regarding this topic. But they also suggest, that policymakers and the medical community realize that air pollution is an important risk factor for heart and blood vessel disease and because of this fact, it should be included as risk factor, along with smoking, diabetes and high blood pressure and cholesterol, in the guidelines of the European Society of Cardiology and the American Heart Association on the prevention of acute and chronic heart syndromes and heart failure. They showed, that air pollution causes damage to the blood vessels through increased oxidative stress, which increases blood pressure and could very well lead to diabetes, stroke, heart attacks and heart failure. Even the professors conducting the research say, that they were pretty much amazed, that pollution has become a greater threat than some diseases or even smoking.